Good morning, Dunbar. Today is February 7th and Sabi Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Republic from which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Yulian. And I'm Adeline. And, and this, this is WPLD, your source for all things Dunbar. The EOS store will open tomorrow during the first five minutes at A4. Be sure to log in and check your Canvas page for the link. La tienda de EOS abrirá mañana durante los primeros cinco minutos de A4. Asegúrense de iniciar sesión y consular su página de Canvas para ver el enlace. The Dog Depot will host its grand reopening this Friday. Stop by to see what the entrepreneurship classes are working on. If you want to make a purchase, please bring cash or check. El Dog Depot tendrá su gran reabertura este viernes. Pásate a ver que están trabajando en la clase de emprendimiento. Si deseas realizar una compra, traiga efectivo o cheque. Now let's send it to, over to Ellie for an interview with Ms. Burns and Mr. John Bass to learn more about social studies and English electives. Dunbar, I'm Ellie and I'm here with Ms. Burns and today we're going to learn about some uh, social study electives. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. Um, so we have so many electives up in the social studies 600 swing, uh, starting with my favorite, which are the two I teach, AP Psychology and Sociology. Uh, those are the two classes that you'll ever take, or the only two classes you'll ever take that are all about you. So if you want to learn how you work, how your brain works, how you operate in social groups and social media, then definitely take any or both of those classes. Uh, we also have History of American Diversity with Mr. Smith. If you're interested in histories, uh, specifically the history of minorities in America, um, underrepresented populations, things that you don't really get to learn in history class, that's an awesome class to take. If you're interested in like true crime, court cases, then Ms. Pettacord has criminal justice. That's one of my favorite classes. I wish I could take it if I was a student here. Couldn't forget about Ms. Crovo's M3 class. If you really like movies, media, movement, that's what that stands for. Um, that's a really fun class to take. It's self-guided. You get to pick the movies you want and the units you want. And another self-guided class we have is yearbook with Ms. Asseltine. So so a little bit different than the other social studies electives, but you get to create a physical product of something um, that's timeless. You get to keep it for the rest of your life, pretty much. Um, and everybody wants your books. So those are our classes. Uh, take them. You can sign up for them on um, your course recommendations. Talk to your counselor about joining. Um, but we hope to see you next year up in social studies. So we have a variety of English electives that you guys can take. Um, they range from things such as dual credit communications all the way to something as simple as film studies. Um, it depends on what you want and kind of what skills you're going for. Uh, if you want a class where you get to talk about movies and get to watch and you know look through kind of how movies are made, you want to think about what kind of the point of some of the most classic movies of all times, even some of the most modern movies, uh, film studies is a great option for you, especially if you've got a really tough schedule ahead of yourself next year. We've got a variety of things like sports writing as well. If you're really into sports, you want to think about how to talk about it. You want to think about how to write about it and what kind of the point of some of that writing style is. Then sports writing with Coach Knight's a great option for you as well. I think that we have a really lot of electives. Each one brings a different skill to yourselves, uh, whether you want to perform in musical theater. Musical theater is another great option for you to kind of you know, get to do something beyond just sitting in a classroom, falling asleep in another class. I mean, we've got so many different options for you. So when you're looking through your course catalog, if you're looking through trying to find options, go talk to your English teacher, or you can come to my room at 109 and we can find the right fit for you and see what you're into because we've got something for everybody. So it's on you to kind of figure out what you like. And if you want help finding that, come talk to one of your English teachers. Sounds great. Let's hand it back over to our anchors. Don't worry if you have already finalized your schedule in IC. You can make changes when you meet your counselor through English classes. It's not too late to sign up for these electives. This week is School Counselor Appreciation Week. If you see your counselor this week, let them know how much you appreciate it and for all they do. 
Esta semana es la semana de agradecimiento a tu consejero escolar. Si ves a tu consejera esta semana, hazle saber cuánto la aprecias a ella y todo lo que hace. The word of the day is equinox. Remember to demonstrate it done by pride today and every day by being positive, respectful, involved, dependable, and excellent. That's all for today. Dunbar follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok at PLD Lamplighter. We'll, we'll see you every morning on WPLD Live. Bye!